Ah, Christmas. The time of year when we get together as a family. The time of year when everyone is full of joy. The time of year when your weird Uncle David stands in the darkest corner of the house and just stares at everyone in deep, dark contemplation of- Wait, did that only happen with my family? Well, fuck it. It's the time of year when we get presents, and the lucky ones get video games. Whereas the not-so-lucky ones get another pair of socks. Damn it, Grandma! Will you stop buying me socks with Elmo on them? I'm a grown man! Anyway, while some of us get video games as presents, they ain't always good. In fact, sometimes they look like this. My family hates me! Fortunately for me, I have had good games for Christmas. One time I even got a Christmas-themed game! Christmas Nights! Now before I can even talk about this little gem, I've got to talk about the original game. I got this back when I was a kid and my parents had split up. I was lucky, because not only did I get the game, but I also got the special controller needed to play it properly! The 3D Control Pad! This thing debuted with Nights into Dreams, and apparently it was Sega's response to the N64 controller? Luckily I don't need three hands to play this thing. Oh, and apparently Sonic Team, you know, the people that created the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, decided that they would make this game for the Sega Saturn. Instead of making a proper Sonic game for the console. So we had to go without one. YOU FUCKING WHAT?! Despite how that makes my blood boil, this is still a great game. It's just a strange one. I mean, what is Knights, anyway? It's a... just a girl, right? Did you just assume my gender? The game starts with you being given the choice of two characters, Elliot and Clarice. If you pick Clarice, then you see she dreams of being a singer on the stage, bringing joy to all with her beautiful voice. But then... Oh, well. She realises that her singing is crap. Oh wait, actually the dream just turned into a nightmare. If you pick Elliot, then you see he dreams of being an ace basketball player. But then... Oh, well. He realises that he's shit at sports. By the way, this isn't just his nightmare. It's also my reality. What? Don't act surprised, of course I'm shit at sports! I get tired going up the fucking stairs! The only real difference between the characters in terms of gameplay is the layout of the levels, and what bosses you fight. Each level starts off with you getting twatted by a pack of buggity fucks, and they steal your glowy balls! Oh! No! No, not... Not like that, nah! No. Oh, my... Why does that even exist? Why? Who Once you get up, you gotta head to the knight's character, so she, he, it, fuck knows can go and get him back. You gotta go around the level to pick up blue balls to put in the floating sphere to break the sphere to get the glowy thing to return to the shrine to do it several times till you get them all back. Confused? Well now you know how I felt when I played this game for the first time. It's fun, but it doesn't make a lick of bloody sense! How high were the game creators when they threw this together? It's like they were stoned from licking unicorn rainbow turds! Anyway, that in a very squashed up nutshell is the main game. Now to try the main event, the Christmas version. This game was originally given away with certain other games, or even some magazines. I honestly can't remember how I got mine back in the day. Hell, I can't remember what I had for breakfast. It was toast. Now, unlike the original game, this one has a much bigger story. The city is covered with Christmas decorations. And people are looking for presents for their loved ones. 
Among them are Elliot and Claris. They all look rushed. That gentleman, that lady, that old man. Why do they have to walk that fast? In the crowd, they feel something important is missing. The streets look so beautiful. This is the most cheerful time of the year. But it seems like nobody is paying any attention to something important. Walking down the street, they find themselves in the middle of Twin Seed City, facing the mammoth Twin oh, Seed fuck this. Tower. So like before, we get to choose between Claris and Elliot. And because of his Sega blue hair, I'm gonna use Elliot. As you can see, it's like Santa Claus threw up all over this game. The sphere things are replaced with Christmas trees. The music is festive and at the same time annoyingly catchy. And Knights is wearing a Christmas outfit that's a cross between a Christmas loving Power Ranger and a festive skin tight suit from Ann Summers. I keep spinning around like a fucking idiot. And if I ever pass something and want to go back to pick it up, all I'll do is miss it a second bloody time! When you return a colour ball thingy to the shrine, you get this strange audio clip. It sounds like something from a 50s Disney film. So, when I finally collect the last colliery ball thing, Knight shoots up into the sky and I get a grade. Fucking C! Well, now that that's done, it would you- OH JESUS CHRIST, IT'S A FUCKING DRAGON! And it's really easy to beat. Just go to the creature's chin and then boost into him. After that lizard is dead, I get given... ANOTHER C! Tight bastard. And here I get a... present? Oh, hell, it's pears! I suck at pears! Oh, finally I got one! I'll make that too! Well, let's see what I got from that. Karaoke Dreams Dreams? What the hell? In a dream I can see You're not far away Any time, any place Oh god! Oh god, no! It's so cheesy! I have to turn it off! For God's sake! How do you stop it? Oh, thank Lucifer, it's finally over! That was horrible! Only thing left to do now is try the game with Claris. Wait. This is just the same thing, innit? No, I think it's slightly different, just not by much. And the boss is the same. Well, that's a little disappointing. But I guess there are several unlockables to this thing, so it's worth replaying. And as one more added bonus, there are secrets you can unlock depending on the date and time you play it. I won't say any more about that though, so you have some incentive to try it out yourself. Well, that was... That was Christmas Nights Into Dreams. It's a pretty fun, if somewhat short, game for the Sega Saturn. And this is the end of another year. But more importantly, it is the end of the tens. And the birth of the twenties. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this channel for the past year, or if you've just come along and this is the first video you've watched, don't know why you picked the Christmas one first. These things normally suck. And this one probably does as well. Yay, my self-esteem! <laughs> I'd like to thank you for watching this video, wish you a Merry Christmas, and warn you not to eat the yellow snow. I found out the hard way that that's a bad idea. You think I'm joking. It's not a joke. Nope. See ya!
We have a problem. What kind of problem? It's one of the other YouTubers. Gaming off the grid? No. Chronic Spartan? No. Retro Gamer Boy? No. Tell us Splash Gaming? It's the bald headed one. Jamie from the Button Bashers? No! Sean from the Nerd Lair? I mean Sega Head. Ah uh ha! -huh. Who? Look, he keeps making videos about good games. He's going against the master plan. 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 This is unacceptable. We need to make him play something truly horrible. We need to send him one of the Turd Upton. One of the ten greatest turds for the Mega Drive. Yes. If we send him one of the ten dreaded games of the Turd Upton, then his sanity will drop. And the master plan will continue. Yes. And I have just the game.